I'm Manny here, and if you've been following me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, you saw a few days ago that I posted a picture of Sprinkles, and he brought us our first craft that we're going to do. Well, this isn't actually a craft, it's a food video, but he brought us the supplies. Now, those spoons belong to us, but he brought us milk chocolate morsels, those are the things that are in chocolate chips, and he brought us those holiday colored sprinkles back there. Now, what we're gonna be making with this is called chocolate spoons. And if any of you have not heard of this before, let me explain. Mom, I might need your assistance for this. Could you pick up one of the spoons, please? Yeah. All right, guys, so see the spoon? What we're going to do is melt the chocolate and pour some of it inside the spoon, and then we're gonna put sprinkles on top. Now, then what you do is you stick it in the refrigerator so the chocolate hardens. And then what you do with it is so cool. You can put this spoon, once the chocolate's hardened, you can put it down into a cup of hot chocolate, you could put it down into a cup of milk, or tea or coffee or whatever you want to put it down into and what it does is the chocolate melts and it flavors whatever you're drinking. So yeah, it's a cool way to add just an extra kick to your uh, hot chocolate on those cold winter nights or to, uh, to milk. You could make chocolate milk with this. So anyway guys, let's get started. All right everyone, so as always, make sure you get your parents help when you're using the stove or fire or appliances in the kitchen. Just wanna put that out there. So as Lammy mentioned, Sprinkles left for us these chocolate morsels. Now this is going to be very similar um, the way we're gonna melt this like we did in our Halloween bark video that we did back in October. So first what I have to do is I have some water underneath here and I'm going to put that down there. I'm just going to pour in some of these morsels into there so they will melt. I'm going to turn on the oven here it comes. All right, so now the oven is lit. So we're putting the flame on low so it does not uh, burn or melt the chocolate too fast. So we're gonna have to let this melt first and what you do is you periodically stir it with a spoon just to make sure that it's all getting creamy and everything. And then we'll go from there. So another option that you could do to decorate these and to add some flavor to your chocolate once it's melted is peppermints. You can use little peppermints like this or you could use um, a candy cane off of your tree. While this is melting, I'm going to take one of these and I'm going to break it up into pieces because what you can do with this is decorate your um, chocolate spoons with them and then when you put it down into your hot chocolate or milk, it will give it a, um, a minty flavor which some places have this time of year like Starbucks and places like that. So it'll be like a peppermint mocha kind of thing. So anyway, I'm gonna break this up and I'll be right back. So I've kind of started the process, but I left the little peppermint inside the package and then I just laid it down on the counter and I took a spoon and just hit it like that so it would break up into tiny pieces. Now, the reason why you wanna break it up into tiny pieces is to decorate the spoon and also so it will um, melt in the drink you're drinking and it'll taste like peppermint. So you can see that our chocolate is starting to melt and we just need to make sure that it's fully melted before we move on to the next step. Now, it depends on how many of these spoons you plan on making, but I only put in like a fourth a cup of these chocolate things. I didn't even put in half the bag because what we're gonna do is we're going to fill up this part of the spoon. All right, and I have them over here on this plate that kind of has like an edge to it. Let me show you this. All right, so see how this plate has this little lip, this little edge that goes up? The reason why I'm using this plate is also to catch any chocolate that falls, but also because I want the spoons to be level. If you lay a spoon flat, it kind of tilts backwards a little bit and you don't want the chocolate to pour out the back. So by taking the spoon and putting it on a plate that has this little lip on it, it makes the spoon level out. So that way your chocolate will go straight down into the spoon and stay there. So let's get busy pouring the chocolate in there because our chocolate has now officially melted. Lammy, do you wanna come take a look at this? Absolutely not. Why not? Because mom, if I got that chocolate in my fur, I would never get it out. That's true, you don't like baths. 
See guys, this is how I get stuck doing this. So this part, you wanna work quickly because you do not want the chocolate to harden because you need it to be soft to put it inside the spoons. So I'm gonna make sure that this is really melted and very creamy and then I'll show you the next step. So the chocolate is pretty much melted. So what you're going to do is you're gonna take your chocolate and you're going to transfer it into this spoon, the melted chocolate. You're gonna transfer it into the spoon and it doesn't have to look perfect because you're gonna put decorations on top anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So there is one spoon, see how it's just sitting in there? And to make sure that it doesn't fall out the back, like I said before, I have it on this some um, plate, so then I'm going to put this here, like that. And then you can smooth it out as much as you can. And we'll be right back when it's time to decorate. First step is done. We have put our chocolate inside these spoons. So now we're gonna move on to decorate. Okay, so I'm gonna open this package. It's best to do it over the plate or on a surface that you can clean up easy because this is gonna be like crumbly. See, some of it's falling. So what you can do is you can take some of it, make sure your hands are clean if you're gonna touch any of this. And what you can do is you can sprinkle some of it out like this. See, it's a bit messy but just make sure your hands are clean and you could sprinkle the peppermint on top of one of the spoons. Now when that hardens, you can put it down into a cup of um, a hot liquid, cocoa, something like that, and it's going to make it taste like peppermint. So now we're going to move on to decorating with these larger sprinkles. Now they may melt in, if it's a hot drink, they may melt in there, but that's okay. It's, it's just to make it festive. So let's open this up and use them. All right, so we opened it up, there's the sprinkles, and I am just going to gently knock some out of there on top of that piece of chocolate. So, there's a close-up of what that one looks like. And then I'm gonna move on to these other sprinkles here. Now these are different ones. All right, so if you guys are a fan of Frozen, like Lammy and I are, you could make one of them with blue sprinkles, so it's like ice. See, that's pretty. See, we put blue ones on top of that one. And then there is some white ones in here. We could use white as well. Sprinkle white on top. So there, there's a frozen themed one. Hi, <laughs> fun mom. Then we're going to move on to these little beads. So the little beads, they're gonna go all over. But we're gonna sprinkle them on top of that one. All right, so the next step, guys, is to take these and to put them in the refrigerator so they harden faster. Alrighty, guys, there is the finished product. After being in the uh, refrigerator to let the chocolate harden for about 15 minutes, the chocolate's now nice and hard, and yeah, so all you have to do is take the spoon whenever you're ready. I would store them in the fridge just to make sure they don't melt. Um, but when you're ready with your hot chocolate or your warm milk or whatever you want to do, I would take it and then mom, show them, show them. See, you just put it in there and then stir it in and all that chocolate and the, and the candy and everything is gonna melt. And it's gonna go into your drink and taste delicious. So you would need to use a warm or hot drink for this. Be careful, don't burn your mouths. But uh, yeah, there they are, guys. I just love them so much. They're so pretty. I like the frozen one too. Here, Mom, show them a close up. See, guys, it's blue and white candy. Reminds me of Frozen, I like it. So have you guys ever made these before? You could use these at a slumber party, a, a holiday party, a Christmas party. I mean, you could use these any time of the year, actually, if you have a hot drink. Huh, I really like them. So yeah, these are our chocolate Christmas spoons, is what I'm gonna call these. I like them. Thank you to Sprinkles for bringing us these supplies. I'm gonna leave them out so he can take a look at them tomorrow. Haha. <laughs> anyway, guys, be sure to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to keep up to date with what Sprinkles is doing on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, I post pictures of him there and all his uh, antics. So that's lots of fun. And be sure to subscribe to this channel so you can check out all my other Christmas videos that will be coming up through the month of December. Thank you for watching. Thanks for all your support. And I will talk to you next time. Bye, guys.